<laughs> well, hello, friends, and welcome to Dallas Cowboys Fantasy Island, where we dream of a team and ownership that's really all about one thing and one thing only, and that is winning and building <clears throat> the team of our dreams because it's just a fantasy. We can always dream about getting players. We get excited so easily. Just the thought and the idea of saying, you know, the NFC has taken some hits this year where you see Russell Wilson is left to go to the AFC, Von Miller is left, you know, uh, for the, the, the Rams to go to the AFC. You, you just see great players that are just migrating to the AFC. And you look at teams like the Eagles and say, yeah, they haven't really done that much to scare you to really improve on what they had last year. You look at teams like the Washington football team and say, you got Carson Wentz. <laughs> You mean that uncoachable SOB that's a bit of a diva without having the skills of Aaron Rodgers? You know, it's crazy. You know, we dream about hearing that Von Miller, you know, seeing DeMarcus Ware, you know, kind of saying, come on to Dallas and everything else, and, and having him with the bug eyes. And then the Cowboys, of course, destroy our fantasies by literally doing nothing. And then we get teased. Oh my God, we get teased so, so often. And we fall for it all the time. And today we falling, we're, we're, we're of course falling for digs versus digs. The thought of digs, Stefan that is, the cryptic message. And then of course his brother saying, I've always dreamed about playing with my brother. Now, let's be clear here. This video is for fantasy purposes only. Okay? Let me give you the warning now. This is fantasy only for this purpose. Okay? It can't happen. It's not real. Okay? When you start dreaming about big name players coming to Dallas, you've got to put a disclaimer on it. It's just not going to happen. Stephen, as... Stuart Morse says, baby nuts, cat boy, is not going to do this. But what if, what if you got yourself a dog like Stefan Diggs? See, Buffalo wouldn't do this because Buffalo realizes that that's the guy that makes Josh Allen run. This is a case where, you know how they say that without Amari Cooper, that Dak Prescott doesn't have that season. The Cowboys don't make the playoffs. And, you know, without Amari Cooper, Dak Prescott is just, you know, an average quarterback. Take a look at Josh Allen's numbers with and without Stephon Diggs. Clearly, clearly, there's a major difference between the two. And I doubt that Buffalo would be parting with him without a whole hell of a lot. So that, my friends, at least for this season, is nothing but a pipe dream. But could you imagine if the Cowboys could? The big question is, would you give up a number one pick for Stefan Diggs? That's a guy who has definitely proven. Now that would be a kind of move that the Cowboys would make because that would sell a lot of jerseys. That would be one that you've got all these great receivers, but unfortunately... You don't have the offensive line. So when I say that this is video is for fantasy purposes only, that's really all it is because it, it, it's great to dream about. It's great to think about. But here's the reality. The Dallas Cowboys, if they're going to make a run on anything, they've got to fix the lines. No ifs, ands, or buts. Diggs would be an incredible target to have out there. But here's the funny thing. It's not the big name receivers that are winning the Super Bowls. You're not. Aaron Rodgers has had Devontae Adams for years. Guess what? He wasn't winning the Super Bowl. Who 
Julio Jones has been a great receiver for years. One of the best. He's not winning the Super Bowl. We've had Amari. And we've won one playoff game with Amari. Now you could say, well, you know, Matthew Stafford had Odell Beckham, but I don't know that Odell Beckham is one of the top receivers any longer in the NFL. Typically, you see some guys like Antonio Brown, although he did win one with Tom Brady, but that, that's a little different because he had a lot of other help that was there with them. But typically, the big wide receiver, the big, you know, more yards than anybody else, typically you don't see that guy winning the Super Bowl. That's the sizzle. That's the excitement. That's the thing that puts the fans in the stands. But here's the reality. What wins games isn't what sells tickets. Being able to block the defense, open up holes for the running back, keep the quarterback upright, most people don't notice that part of the game. On the defensive side, that big nasty that's keeping the linebackers clean, that's plugging the holes, ending up with about 25, 30 tackles, a few pressures, a few sacks. Those guys get overlooked. They don't get their jerseys bought. Nobody cares about them. But the funny thing is, you can't survive the NFL without those guys. Yeah. Cowboys could probably trade a first and Get a Stefan Diggs, maybe it will probably no, actually take more than the first these days. After what we've seen for the last two big trades. But what they really need is, they need the line. Because if they can fix the line, that's as good as getting a Stefan Diggs. Seriously. Because what that enables to do, the team to do, is Zeke Elliott, who is slowing down, He's got some big holes to run through. He's going to pick up some yards. It's not going to be game breakers. But they are four, five, six yard chunks that make your second down that much easier. That opens up the whole playbook. If that offensive line, good players that aren't getting stupid penalties that make it first and 20, or first and 25 personal fouls, or first and 15 because it's offsides, if you're not making those dumb penalties, if you are able to give your quarterback, instead of two seconds, three and a half seconds, he's going to find people open. It's going to be that much easier. And it will make the players around the running back, the quarterback, the wide receivers, all better. So as much as we th love to think and fantasize about seeing Stephon Diggs out there, the reality is, in life and in football, we need to fix the line. So, I can see my cell phone is dying right now. It's been a long day. And... Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this Fantasy Island video by, of course, saying thank you to all of you. We're over, I think, $2,400 of money raised for Fight, Fate, Finish, and I appreciate all of that. Um, you guys are keeping me as busy as possible in the workshop, uh, doing things, and, of course, the Cowboys, with all of their drama, is keeping me busy as well. And if I don't hurry up... I'm going to lose this tape. So, good night, everybody. Make sure you tell somebody you love, you love them tonight. Because you might not get the chance tomorrow. Peace.